Pride Nation, what's going on? It's your boy, the Ambitious King. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Let's get into the video, bro. Things that women dislike about you. Woo, um, okay, look, me personally, I'm guilty of this. And this is something that I'm finna work on and change about myself because I kind of realized, bro, you're doing a little too much. Now, with that being said, let's hop into it. Trying too hard, number one, trying too hard to be light. That is a major turn off to women. Because if you know that you that dude, you know that you can provide a good lifestyle, why are you trying to display it so hard and let, make people see like, look at me, look at me, look at me. Like, this is something that I'm guilty of. I put myself in that category. But a part of accountability is to be willing to learn that I'm guilty of that. See, I had this notion of, oh, I love myself, so I need I need for other people to see my work. I need for other people to see that I love myself. Yeah. It's like, if I know who I am, why do I have to prove it with trying to display it all the time? It's like, I, every day I wake up, I, I got to prove it. Like, look what I'm doing, look what I'm doing. Like, bro, I had to tell myself, like, bro, what you doing is lame, in a way. Be sporadic with your wins. Post By all means, post your achievements, but don't be too, don't be too, like, braggadocious with it. Is it, you can flex, but don't don't do it in the way of oh, I'm better than you or um you yeah, look what I got so you should come be a part of my world now oh I'm up now so you should be fucking with me mistakes I made man look I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all I had to learn I sat back in bed last night I, I had a couple people tell me this actually a couple times but I was just too stubborn and ignorant I was like well fuck y'all I ain't trying to hear what y'all saying now I sit there and think about it, like bro they was right after you sit back and like you you you, t you put that mirror in front of you you like mm -hmm, I don't like what I see. Yo, so that's me doing some self-reflection on myself. I um another thing, not being secure with who you are. I guess it kind of ties into like being braggadocious, but like, what's the context I'm trying to put in, y'all? Y'all was like speaking on things that you know that you offer that you can offer a woman, and you you don't let your actions do it for you. Example. If y'all in conversation and you just tell her all about you, all about you, all about you, one, you're not leaving no mystery for her to wonder about you. Two, you make it seem like you're better than her. And three, you make it seem like you're not you, you're not used to winning. So, my bad, y'all just ate shit. Um, yo, let your action speak for you. And when let her find out different things about you on her own time. Let's say like four or five months go past and she's like, oh, I didn't know you do that. Oh, yeah, I do it, but I ain't feel like it was nothing important to tell you, for real. Downplay your success. Downplay what you got going on. Because they, that, that leaves mystery for them to wonder about you. They don't like the man that always, look at me, this is about me, this is what I do. Oh, uh, I, I got all these all, all this money, I got all these nice cars. She's like, okay, well, is that the only thing that, that, that makes embrace you? Now, that she's a gold digger, bro, hey, do what you do. But we talk about women that you actually want to genuinely know. Women, it's nothing wrong with keeping a woman around, bro. If you got a woman that's doing good by you, bro, like, get out this mindset of, I can't show her that I care about her, I can't show her that I like her. No, nigga, you can do that, just don't over, don't be overbearing with it. That's all. And if she's not doing nothing to let you provide that experience for her, that's when you should do it. You should be work caring and loving a woman or liking a woman who don't really like, that's not into you like that. You more for her than she is for you. That's what I'm saying. Um... I got, kind of got, got a little off topic there, but hey, it all ties in together, bro. Um, what's another one? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Being too fl uh, fl flashy with the other women you have. Women can know that you have women, bro. And this goes back to me. <laughs> Your boy always posts, look at this girl I'm with. Look at the girl I got. Look at this girl on my bed. Look at, look at this girl I'm on a date with. Look at this, this girl I'm in, in the gym when she, and women say they're like, why is he so, why is he trying to like show how much woman he has? Like, we know you have women, bro. Because I used to do this, bro, and hope and hope that they'll start fucking me. Oh, he got all them girls? So I want to be a part of him now. Like, if y'all see me keep doing like this, bro, I, I ain't doing crap. My nose itch. But, yeah, they, they, I, I used to be like, oh, wait, if I just post this girl and that girl, these girls want to fuck with me now. And that's not always the case, bro. Some women just not going to like you, not going to want to fuck with you. And that's okay. Something that I had to sit back and like, you know what, Jayvon? You're doing some pretty kind of lame stuff, bro. 
you win it, but you being too, you 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 try you're you're a try hard. See, like I tell y'all, I always keep it real myself. See, I had friends that told me these things before, but like I said, I wasn't listening. I was like, well, y'all just hating, or y'all just don't know what y'all talking about. Now I see why they uh say what they said. Cause after you sit back and just, and just think about the stuff that you done, you're like, no, I do need to change that. So, god damn, I know it's like fuck. But yeah, dog. Also, another thing that makes women not like you is always not knowing what to talk about. She get around you like, okay, what's the point of you asking her what you doing all the time? What you doing? 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 It's like, bro, do you not know how to have something to talk about? Do you not know how to, to engage in conversation? Are you scared to speak to her? What's going through your head to make you keep asking what you're doing, what you're doing, what you're doing? Like, what, what, what is going to separate you from the other man that she's talking to? Because, nigga, you're not the only one on her phone. She got, like, 30 niggas on her phone saying the same thing. What you doing? Oh, okay, yeah, I want to see you. Oh, yeah, you think, oh, you pretty. Oh, come over tonight. Oh, okay, I'm trying, I'm trying to smash. Like, bro, what are you doing to stand out from the crowd? What are you doing? You don't know how to talk about the government. What 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 caused this war? Why how long this war lasted? The the year that this shoe came out. The origin story behind the shoe, behind the person who made the shoe. What influenced you to do what you're doing in your life? What influenced other people to do what they're doing? Like, bro, take, let's say you're in public. This is a call, I like to call it social observance. When you out in public and you hear people speaking on things, like, like let's say you want to talk a bear, bro. You see somebody talking about uh, having a conversation. You you take it for um, future use, store, and like, hey, you know what's crazy? I heard these, like, I heard these people talk a bear earlier today talking about this. What? Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, you going, like, it's so easy to make conversation. Go out and about, hear what people talk about, have something to like to talk about and think on so you can come to your girl with it. Like, hey, what you think about this? Because if you get around her, bro, and y'all just like this the whole time, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's quiet, like, she, nigga, she, it hurt. She, she don't feel no type of no thrill or tingling sensation with you because it's the same old thing. It's the same boring routine. You're boring. You don't have nothing to talk about. You're back with the old shits, and now she's leaving you for the nigga that, that's not doing what you're doing. Now, I still get, like I said, I still get a woman, bro. But at the same time, part of getting a woman is being account accountable for the things I'm doing wrong. As a man, you should own up when you're wrong. It's nothing wrong. It's, it's not nothing wrong or being a sin or being weak by, by saying, hey, hey, baby, I apologize. Now, don't be by, begging and crying. Don't be doing all that. But, hey, baby, you know what? I was saying thing, and I'm sorry about what I said. But only apologize if you're genuinely sorry, especially if it's something that you started and, and you wrong for. Apologize, bro. That's, that's part of being a leader, a part of ownership. Because a woman don't like when you don't know how to take accountability and you always blame her, 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 her when you're the one who started. That's that's the uh, delusional. Don't be like that. So, with the end of every video, like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Stay ambitious. Stay determined. Stay prideful. Stay driven. Stay courageous. I love y'all. We out. Till the next video.